everyone and welcome back to my balcony. I hope it's not too loud. <laughs> um, we live kind of near a busy road and right now it's really busy and I don't know why. Um, but anyways, I wanted to start my reading vlog today right now. I don't really know how many hours I'm gonna get through but it's gonna be the title. I'm gonna be smarter in the future. Um, but I am just sitting outside right now. I have about 45 minutes to start off because then I have to go to the vet. So it's not gonna be like a consecutive like I'm not gonna read for X amount of hours straight. I'm just gonna take like little breaks for eating, sleeping, and all functioning things. Um, but I have my first book here. I'm gonna start off with the perks of being a wallflower. I figured I'd just start with like an easy, kind of quick book to get my motivation started. And I love, love the movie of this. And I have been wanting to read this book ever since I first saw the movie. And that was like maybe like five or ten years ago. I don't remember. Um, and then I got the book off of some used book site i don't remember what it's called i think rebuy but i'm not sure i order from like different um used book sites and i got it for it was definitely under five euros so very cheap and i just want to read it and get into it and yeah let's just start off this reading vlog with the perks of being a wallflower i have decided to go with 12 hours and i'm gonna start the timer right now and start the perks of being a wallflower two minutes actually i'm finished with part one of the book um it's apparently split into like these parts and i love it so much it's so i mean it's very sad and i feel i mean maybe it's because i've seen the movie before but i have like you know the faces of all of the characters and i kind of know what happens so i just feel kind of I don't know bad but connected to all of the characters and I love them all so much it's 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 also very cute like how Sam and Patrick kind of take in Charlie and everything um and that already like happened all of it and also like the big um saying that like we are infinite and stuff it already happened too um and I'm like 40 pages in I think yeah 42 um but yeah really recommend this really really good it's kind of sunny outside but also kind of cold so i switched inside i was at the um, vet but they were closed so i have to go back later or maybe tomorrow so i can just keep reading this book i'm definitely gonna finish this um in like i want to say two hours because it's not that much left um but that's such a great start to this video i love this definitely already recommend 10 out of 10 or five stars whatever <laughs> I'm finished, well, my dog's yawning, finished with part two, so I have um, this much left. It's about halfway done, and this was like the really sad part for me. I felt like crying two times. Um, I don't want to spoil anybody, but there were like things that came up that just made me really sad for the characters, and one in kind of a almost positive way, the other one really sad, and again, because I've seen the movie, I kind of know what happens i don't remember exactly but as i'm reading it it all like comes up again um so it's kind of very sad but i can't stop reading it um i'm on page 100 now and it has a little over 200 pages i'm actually halfway done um but yeah again can't recommend this enough very beautiful but also very sad um i'm gonna eat something now and then i'm gonna keep reading i am um two hours in <laughs> 10 hours left um so yeah i should probably be able to fit like three books into this i think depending on how big the books are but yeah let's go make something to eat finished with part three of the book about to start part four part three was kind of i don't want to say depressing but kind of sad to see like how the character 
goes through the things that he goes through um i didn't feel like crying though because it was not as dramatic i think more kind of like um more like day-to-day -day things um but i only have oh, i don't know where the bookmark is i only have this little bit up here left which should only take me i think about an hour i'm on nine hours and 30 minutes left so can't do math <laughs> too much reading um but yeah i think i should be done before i hit eight hours left so four hours in um but yeah i'm really liking the book so far again for the third time in this video 10 out of 10 recommend let's keep going I just finished this at the gym. I did one hour of cardio and that was the exact time it took me to finish it. I now have eight minutes, uh, eight hours and 11 minutes left. An easy five star book. I loved it. I felt like crying. Um, I did my best not to cry at the gym, but I had to um, make weird faces to not cry. Um, it's beautiful, but it's also very sad and it's very moving and I felt like crying overall probably like three, four times. So it's probably best to read the book at home, um, but it's also a very easy read. It's very quick to get through. It had 220 something pages and it took me almost exactly four hours. So not too long. I think, I think it's like pretty average. It's not very complicated. Um, if I would have read it at home, it probably would have been shorter because when I do like cardio and I walk while I read, I am a bit slower. Um, but yeah, easy five stars. I already rated it on Goodreads. The app was confused <laughs> because I added it today and I marked it as read today and reviewed it and that was apparently too much. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna think of the next book that I'm gonna start now. I'm probably gonna eat something and drink something before. Um, but yeah, let's pick something out. So I did decide on Pizza Girl as my second book. So Pizza Girl is kind of a random pick. I don't know anything about the book, honestly. Um, I did read a couple of reviews on Goodreads and they're all like, fine, like, all right, good. Um, and then I didn't really read like a whole lot of, oh yeah, <laughs> I didn't really read any of the back text and now I'm like finding out what it's about. But I thought the cover was nice, it had pretty good i don't remember how many stars exactly but it had good reviews like generally on goodreads and i got it for like two five euros and that's like my main uh, motivation to get a book um and yeah it's supposed to be um a story about jane um and apparently i don't know i don't want to spoil anybody obviously it's on the back but it's a story about a girl um who goes through things <laughs> um and so yeah it also has about 200 pages so i'm thinking it's gonna be an easy read it's also in german but it's available in english i did think about starting the perfume i just noticed a huge um spider web um i did think about starting one of my crime books but they're only available in german and maybe i'll have to make like a separate video with only books that are available in german because whenever i watch these types of videos i want to know like i want to read those books i want to know what they're about um but yeah so pizza girl and we're gonna start the timer <laughs> So I am more than halfway through. I am on page 130 and so far nothing has really happened. I mean, it's it's easy to read. It's kind of a f like a not a fast paced book in like the sense of what happens, but it's fast in the sense of you don't have to focus too much when you're reading it. As I said before, I didn't have any expectations for this book because I didn't really know what was going to happen. Um I like the characters and how like everything plays out i think <laughs> that the uh, boyfriend and the mom have kind of a weird dynamic but um i think the book kind of needs that because i don't know it just kind of makes the story very unique i think um i'm really excited to see what the rest is gonna bring 
because right now it's all like i said a bit confusing and nothing has really happened yet there's this new character is, that is introduced but it's like all in the, the um, main character's head almost um and so yeah <laughs> i don't really know what to what to say about the book yet even though I'm more than halfway through it's definitely not five stars probably three um, as I said, it's easy to read, but nothing is really happening. I don't know if there's like a plot twist or like a, I don't know, <laughs> something else gonna happen in the end or like in the next couple of pages. But so far I'm liking it, but I'm also already glad when I can kind of move on because I want to read something more interesting and it's not that interesting. It's 9 p.m. and I've just finished Pizza Girl in the bathtub. I had to find motivation to finish reading it, hence why I went to the bathtub. <laughs> it was alright. I don't know if I want to give it two or three stars because I did want to know more. But the things that I found out, I didn't really like, I don't know. Um, it just kind of didn't make sense. There is a plot twist, I don't want to spoil anything. But there is a plot twist, but it was nothing like I thought. That's kind of the point of a plot twist obviously but I think it was kind of rushed and I was hoping that there was gonna be like a little bit more character development because it like the book is kind of tragic I guess and then it gets like kind of weird but I was hoping that it would get a little less tragic and for like not like a happy ending because I don't know I didn't expect that but I thought that it would I don't know just give me like more insights into her life and her mind and everything and also maybe that's something I should mention the only time the pizza girl's name is dropped I guess it's like on the last page or like in the last chapter and I think I didn't that was also like something that I didn't really like because you couldn't really connect to her I also didn't want to because objectively speaking a lot of the characters were really nice people but because of her personal like views and how she um, yeah viewed them talked to them thought of them made me think that they were bad but like objectively speaking they were not bad um so i don't know it's gonna be a 2.5 star for me let's see what i can give it a good read but um that's book number two and i am i have four hours and 42 minutes left so i think i can do another book i just have to pick very wisely i honestly would like to read like a nice romance book like a colleen hoover type book now that you don't really have to think about and just like feel nice when you read it but i don't have any of those but i do have about 20 crime books that i have not read yet and there's one from this like italian author um i don't really know what's called right now i'll put it up right here because i have the german version of it but i'm sure it's available in english too and obviously also italian but i have been wanting to start that for quite some time because i read another book of this author and i loved it i was obsessed so i might start that because i think that's gonna be really fast paced um like a fast quick read quick <laughs> four hours and 42 minutes um but i think i can do it i don't think i'm gonna finish tonight though because i do need to sleep and i do have stuff i need to do tomorrow so i can't stay up until like one in the morning um but yeah i'm definitely gonna start and i'm gonna show you once i start reading which is probably gonna be in like five minutes but yeah that's my review on pizza girl um I don't know <laughs> if i would recommend it if you already have it at home read it but i wouldn't buy it again um yeah 2.5 stars. Good morning, it's the next day. I am 26 pages in this book. I am still have not researched the English title. Um, I read for half an hour yesterday night, so now I have 4 hours and 16 minutes left and 4 seconds. I got my snacks, I got cucumber and hummus, I got one single peanut butter cup um and i'm gonna like go through this i have breakfast i feel um what's it called awake not really yet um but it was good that i didn't read everything last night because i definitely did eat a sleep um but yeah now we're gonna start i'm gonna finish those four hours strong and hopefully finish this book i the first couple of pages have been kind of slow, but that might also be because I was tired. But the first sentence already caught me because it is the dead man opened his eyes. 
what <laughs> um but yeah i really like this author i'm really excited um where it goes and yeah let's get started I'm currently on page 70 and my head hurts. I have about three hours left, um, but I don't think I'll be able to finish this in three hours. It is slower than I thought and within the 70 pages there were a lot of characters introduced and I don't really know what's going on yet. Um, it obviously is a crime book and there, I think, two or three people have been found dead, but nothing like immediate has happened yet. So I don't really know what's going on um, because there's um, kind of like three times or like three locations. So there's a woman who's a photographer for the police and she is like on a case and then there's two men who visit somebody in a hospital who apparently is like a serial killer. Um, no spoilers because that's like on the first couple of pages. And then now there's another man who is like also hunting somebody like another criminal i don't really know what's going on um and i don't know how they're connected yet and 70 pages in as i said it's not that far because it's had almost 500 pages but i kind of want to like get an idea of what it's about now but i need to take a break now because my head hurts I did it. 12 hours are complete. I am about halfway through, actually 42%. I just put it into Goodreads. Um, I stopped on page 204, so I think that's pretty good. It's a lot slower than the other book that I read from this author, but I still like it. The first, as I said, like 70, 80 pages were kind of hard to get into, but now it's giving me kind of Dan Brown Da Vinci Code vibes, which is good because I like those movies. Um, I don't like the books. I think they're <laughs> a little bit too slow, um, but I like the, like, world it plays in like the things that happen and this is kind of similar now the characters and their relationships with each other make a little bit more sense they're not all connected yet but it's starting to make more sense i guess um but yeah that was 12 hours reading <laughs> not in one go but almost with like living essential breaks like walking the dog and sleeping and food and stuff um but yeah i can't wait to do this again or maybe even 24 hours let's see um i did actually order four Kind of easy to read almost like romance books i think um that would be perfect for this because i think that like colleen hoover type books are just really quick to read and so i think that i could get through more books and also not get bored because i could switch them up more um so i think that short books are definitely the better option for videos like this definitely gonna start another one very soon because i really love getting through my tbr and yeah because that just gives me a new reason to buy more new books um yeah that's basically it i'll see you in the next one bye